Hello everyone. In this video, I would like to discuss one good feature from this uh, Fluke 97 scope meter. That is the one power design, the battery design from this uh, Fluke 97. In the previous video, we briefly introduced how can we use the Fluke 97 and this uh, Fluke 123. What the basic feature and uh, the what the basic operation of those uh, both scope meters. And in this video, I will mainly discuss the power supply and the battery of these uh, two fluke meters. I'm going to specially introduce one power battery function from this 97. I'm pretty like this uh, design. Okay, firstly, let me shut down these two scope meters. And uh, let's flip over. So as we know, the fluke scope meter basically connector, the power connector is this style. But keep in mind, their power supply, the outside, that is uh, the positive. It's the inner pin, the center, that is a negative. That is uh, not the same as a common power supply. So according to this uh, user manual, we can see the outside, that is the positive center, that is uh, the negative. And their original power supply, that is a uh, PM8907. And also according to this uh, user manual, that external power, that DC, the voltage range actually it can from 8 volt to 20 volts. The reason why I'm going to talk about this because when I bought this uh, scope meter, this 97 that time it doesn't come with this uh, power supply, and I made this uh, power supply by myself because I have one spare power supply, and this power supply that is a 12 volt 300 milliamp. According to the manual of the Fluke 97, its input can be from 8 to 20 DC volt. So this power supply could fit for this uh, Fluke 97. However, the power, the polarity of this uh, power supply doesn't fit for this uh, 97. I need to change, uh, reverse this uh, polarity. So I cut this uh, cable and reverse this uh, polarity, positive and negative, and make it working. So in case your original power supply got a fail, so you can buy the normal used power supply and cut this end and uh, connect to the power supply. You only need to make sure that is the outside that is a positive that range is from eight to twenty, and like this, I made this a uh, power supply by myself, and it supplied a twelve volt and a three hundred milliamp, and make sure it greater than three hundred milliamp. And as we can see, this is the standard connector of PM eighty nine zero seven. So to DIY the connector by yourself you need to select one connector like this style, it's straight. And comparing with the size, their size, they are the similar like this. This is very easy to find. Like this cable, one side is a USB, one side is this. This is very common used for the router or switch power supply connector. And you can use a knife to cut it, make it smaller. So like the connector, like mine, so I cut this, make it smaller, you will see. Because here is very deep, especially it has uh, this cover outside. So basically it will use uh, 30 millimeter. So here. So actually that is this lens. So that is about 30 millimeter. Okay, that is uh, the DIY power supply. So you could select the power DC range from 10 to 20 uh, DC volt and select uh, greater than 300 milliamp and make this a connector. Keep in mind the outside must be the positive. Okay. And then let me flip it over and open the battery case. Let me show what the inside of this uh, battery case. So to open this uh, battery case, you need a screwdriver. That is a Torx screwdriver. Okay, I'm gonna open this. I'm gonna take out this uh, battery. So that is a Fluke PM120MH battery. So this battery, I have to use this connector connect to this uh, scope meter. This is this style. 
So let me open this uh, 97 scope meter. So firstly, you need to take off this uh, protection case and flip it over. Open here and the same screwdriver. And there are two screw here, so let's open that. Okay, so let me compare. So this Fluke 123, it need a battery 4.8 volt battery pack. That is a Nikon battery. Okay, this is a 4.8. And this Fluke 97, it need a 4 times 1.5 battery. It also need CAD battery cell. And this is the battery pack from this uh, Fluke 97. So it named the PM9086 and its watts that is a uh, 4.8 watts. And this battery pack is not working for this uh, Fluke 97. That's because, so firstly, this battery pack is totally dead. It has not been used for a long time. So, and secondly, from this positive polarity, actually from here, it need a, a metal lag here. So that's very important. Here, it must have a one metal lag. The reason why is from this internal design. So when we connect the AC power to this uh, scope meter, the power to charge this battery pack that coming from this metal lag here. So now if I connect this AC power to this scope meter without turning on this scope meter, and now I'm gonna use this clamp meter switch to the DC voltage and measure where that power come from. And then according to the symbols from this battery pack, so this is the battery positive and it's connect together and this finger that is uh, the negative of the battery and then I will measure the voltage come from this uh, metal lag and this so let's see what the voltage it is so I'm gonna connect here and connect this so we will see that is a uh, 8 volt and that means if we put a battery pack here and this battery pack should have a, a metal lag and when I load this battery inside this case through that finger, so it will charge this uh, battery. So with this design, actually this uh, Fluke 97 can use the battery like this. This is uh, the Type C, C size battery, and it's a watt that is a 1.5. So connect the full battery inside this uh, battery case, it can power this uh, score meter. And keep in mind, this is not chargeable battery. And because of this design, when I load the battery inside this battery case, that power only come from this metal finger. So it won't charge this uh, standard battery. That's why this is a really good feature. When we connect the AC power to here, it will not charge this standard battery. So I pretty like this uh, feature. You do not need to purchase a very expensive uh, the battery pack. Just the standard battery that work. So let me connect this uh, four batteries inside this case. Okay. So keep in mind, positive here. And then the second line, we need to towards to the left, the positive. Okay. And then we close this case. Okay, flip over, let me power up. Okay, once it's power up, so you will see the symbol, it shows a battery here. And if I connect this AC power to this scope meter, let's see the symbol change. Okay, the symbol, it changed to the adapter. So that means if we connect the AC power to this scope meter, and once we have our AC power supply connect to this scope meter, it will shift to the adapter. And then if you walk on side or walk in the field, so you can disconnect this uh, power supply just to use the battery and turn on. So the score meter will shift to the battery mode.
So the standard battery won't conflict with this uh, AC DC power supply. So that means we do not need to purchase this uh, expensive uh, battery pack. Just buy that standard battery and uh, plug in into this uh, Fluke 97. So comparing with this uh, 97, this Fluke 123, this power supply is still is like this. There's no connector here to allow you to load the standard battery. So you have to buy the battery pack like this. So basically, we will shift to this standard battery pack. So, but you know, this battery pack is really expensive. Uh, so that's why I say this is Fluke 97, that is a really good feature, even if this is the old style score meter, 97. Okay, that is for today. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you like to watch more videos in my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell. Thank you for watching.